is a leadership program that the U of A offers. It's really, really fun. You meet a lot of people. To describe Blue Chip, um, I would say that it's something along the lines of a leadership um, group that you get to find kind of who you are. I mean, it's, it's said that it's like a leadership experience, but like it's so much more than that. And for me, I've gotten so many things out of it. What I really like about Blue Chip is that you're forced to get involved with the school and this way you can meet so many people. It's a good way to manage time to meet people, make friends, and then also work on your leadership skills. Your comfort zones are kind of stressed a little bit to see how far you'll go. Um, in discovering who you really are and that's kind of what Blue Chip's about is finding who you are and getting comfortable with that and gaining that confidence. You're just able to really gain a lot of experience like I've learned so much from Blue Chip and I really like it. You have about 10 to 15 people that are on a team. My team's awesome. I'm on Team 8 like I said we're all really good friends now from it and it, it was kind of like a, a friendship that came really like quickly. Like, it, it didn't take any time. Oh my gosh I love my team. <laughs> I love all the people in it and that's what makes what my team is and what Blue Chip is to me. We all had a fun time joking and laughing at each other and we're very competitive. You have team meetings every week and kind of just get to know your team. Ours is on Monday nights. It's so much fun. I look forward to it every Monday. We talk about leadership things and always like touch on what Blue Chip is and like how it's becoming like a part of our life and like healthy us and you go through different things with a handbook as a team to get <clears throat> to know your group even better. We talk a lot about you know what it takes to be a leader. Okay, we're going to start off with something fun. We're going to do something called behind the back. So partner up, find a partner. This is all about communication. So one person is going to be the one communicating it and one person is going to be drawing something. So you're going to be sitting back to back and I want the person sitting. who's communicating yeah. to look at the picture and try to describe to you what the picture is so you're able to draw it. The curve is to the left right. and then like the, the top right corner. Like yeah. The smaller on the curve is on the, the other right. side of the You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Big rectangle that's horizontal. Okay. Yes. Not in it, but on the outside of it. <laughs> Is it connected oh, by a like point or like a side? Line. So the side, which is one inch, connect a one inch triangle and then draw the hypotenuse. <laughs> I guess diamond. Now there's a pentagon attached to the tip of the triangle. <laughs> Disgusting. Okay, well, I shouldn't have said diamonds. I should have said rocks. Oh. I could or, or you could just say oh my God, away. And then, okay. I would have not probably not I'm known what a rock is. Tilted square. We have these meetings just to keep on track about, you know, what does a leader need to do? What kind of qualities do they need to have to be a leader? <coughs> is there anything that you did not see on this list as a leadership skill that you personally have? I feel like leading by example is Okay. Like so who thinks that this is one of their top leadership skills? Did it surprise you the ones that you want to develop better? Yeah. Yeah. Which ones? Civic responsibility. <laughs> like I have none of that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's one what's a better way of um, establishing this as one of your leadership skills? My team leader's amazing. She's so funny. I love her. We just get along so great and I really like it. She's really encouraged us. She's really been positive. She said she's always been there for us. If I ever needed anything, I know that I could have gone to her. We try to every meeting talk about what our high and low is of the week and kind of like, I don't know, just to like relate to other people, know what's going on with them. So if, um, let's end the meeting with doing highs and lows really quick. So tell me the high of this last week and the low of your last week. Sunny over here. I went home for a wedding this weekend and I got sick. <laughs> so that was the low. <laughs> okay. My high was learning to swear in Latin today. <laughs> my low is that if I don't get back to my dorm in two minutes, I miss the start of Conan. Oh, no. Start of what? All right, boys, take wait, off. You, wait, you okay. haven't gone yet. I don't have a low. My good thing, my high is my mother's coming to visit on Wednesday. Yay. I'm really excited about that. Oh, because it's getting cooler than you see, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Phase one, we do things like field day, that's a lot of fun, very competitive. We did blue sync, which is where you choreograph like a dance and a song together, which was my favorite thing so far. Oh, blue sync? <laughs> blue sync was fun. Blue sync was interesting. 
<clears throat> we took a combination of songs and put a dance to that. We didn't have to sing or anything, we just danced and lip sync. We're a really competitive team and so we wanted to make sure that we could like perform the very best that we could. We practiced for a while and we did really well, I think. Um, and just had a good time, encouraged each other and got up on stage and all the 14 teams competed for best dance, best outfits, most creative. We won the most creative award. I think we deserved it. We, we worked pretty hard for it. Overall, I think everyone was really happy with it. We. We just work really well, well together as a team. It was really fun. Like, that was probably one of the best times that we've had as a team, and I feel like our team like, got a lot closer too during that. What was that game oh, call that I we played you. at right the first blue chip? Right now we're doing our last team meeting. For phase one, you do half a semester is like meetings with your team, and then the second semester you do a leadership class. It's called H. HED 201 and it's just like a, a leadership course. Mine's on Monday. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you next semester in classes. And I'm so oh, sad I got your class. That's okay. <laughs> you're gonna get a great experience at it. Well, I wish you would just in. teach every class. I know. <laughs> oh, that would work. You'd be so class. surprised at how fast three hours goes by because you're like doing things that you're involved with other people. It's not just sitting there listening to someone talk or doing like book work. It's yeah. so interactive. You'll get to know everyone in your class just as well, if not better, than your team. Even though the classes are a little bit larger, but it's a really fantastic I'm excited experience. to really like meet other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. There's a few people from my team that are doing it, so that'll be fun. theme event. What's that? Uh, theme event is like the tab event you went to. Oh. The tab event is focused on one of the five themes of Blue Chip. It's like a social that teach you things like I did terror recycling where we learned to recycle, use cereal boxes and things like that. We just had like pizza and food and drinks. I'm just so excited for next semester when we actually get to like do a service project and right now we're kind of just like leading in to like what we're going to be doing the next four years and I'm so excited. <laughs> And overall, we had a great team, and definitely the bonds that were made in this phase one will continue all the way through phase four. In the next four years, I'm going to be learning a lot, so I'm so excited I started this program. Blue Chip has affected my college career. Um, it's given me a place to meet new people, kind of branch out. It makes me feel like I'm more involved, which I feel is something that's really important to do when you're in college. It's just, it's been such like a great opportunity for uh, like for me and like for my teammates and I've I've learned so or I've met so many people. If I wasn't in Blue Chip I kind of would have not had a place to hang out and just a place that was different from the dorm life, a um, place where everyone was together. It really gives back so much more than you would ever expect so I think everyone should give it a try. And it's a lot of fun and definitely would recommend it to any of my friends that aren't in it yet or coming up. Just come in with a positive attitude and you won't be disappointed.